Okay, here I have an L16 brand new out of the box. I'm going to take a standard Ethernet cable and plug that into the bottom here. And I'll also plug it into my laptop. I'm going to go to Start, All Programs, Rockwell Software, Boop P, Boop P Server. Now, I get this warning here from Windows, and I'm going to say allow this to work on both public and private. And then it's going to ask me to configure it. And what I need to put here is what my uh, subnet mask is. So right now I'm running 255, 255, 2550. So that is something you have to do the first time you set up or launch Boot P. Let's go ahead and hit that. And now here I'm waiting for the Compact Logix to send out a request for an IP address. Out of the box, they are set up for Boot P. So let's take a look and see if we have a request. And now we can see the Compact Logix is asking for an IP address using Boot P. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the request. We're going to add it to the relation list and we're going to type in an address here. And that's it. Now our unit has an IP address. Now the thing to keep in mind is that the unit is still set up, the Compact Logix is still set up to ask for an address every time we cycle power. So at this point we'll want to go online with it and change it so that it's not set for Boot P anymore that it's set for a static IP address. And I'll show you how to do that now. We'll go ahead and open up Iris Links. And here I'll go ahead and add an Ethernet IP driver. And now, when I browse the Ethernet IP driver, I see the device, and I can go ahead and right click on it and go to Module Configuration. And here on the port configuration, I can tell it no longer to use boot P, but now to be static. This way, if I cycle power, it'll still have that IP address.